Hello and welcome to a new video. So today is going to be a double cake smash day. It's going to be two boys and they're going to be really cool looking cake smashes. Um, so let's uh, go to the first decor. So here we have the cake still in the box. It's going to be, it's a, it's a drip cake with a tippy tent and a number one. So here we have the cake and the decor. So how do you get happy customers and happy returning customers? I think the main thing is, is to uh, be very clear in your communication beforehand and to manage their expectations. Um, you can go a little bit beyond of what they expect to create a really beautiful experience. Uh, but what I first do when people ask me for information, for example, for a cake smash session, um, well, of course, I thank them for filling out my contact form. And I might ask them a few more questions, like when is the baby's birthday? Do you want to use the photos for the invitation as well? Or do you want to come on their actual birthday? Once we have that settled, and we, I give them all the information. So I will explain the price of the session once more, even though it's on my website, very clear, um, but I will still put it in the email so there are no miscommunications. So I mentioned the price of the session, how many files are included, if and how they can order more files after the session, um, how long the session lasts, so it's like 45 minutes up to an hour, uh, what is included in a session, so portrait photos, then the photos with the cake, and then photos in a bathtub. I will explain that they can choose the colors of the session and that I have some examples on my website and that is the guideline as to what I can offer. So yeah, we can do a few variations based on what I have. I will get to that later. <laughs> But, and then I include the items that they need to bring. So maybe a snack for the baby to use in between the session if they get a little bit cranky. The outfit, they can use two outfits. They can change once during the session. So we can do an outfit for the portrait photos and then a different outfit for the cake photos. They can bring a bathing suit. It's nice if they bring a towel. So stuff like that, just some items that they need to bring. Also managing expectations so they don't come in with six different outfits and then they expect that we can do six different outfits during the shoot. So I already mentioned in the email it's two outfits. And then a swimsuit, swimming suit. Yeah, once we have set a date, I will of course send a confirmation with the directions. I will ask them to fill out my booking form. In the booking form, they tick boxes, understanding that there are five images included and they can order more. Uh, they agree with my terms and conditions. And then I have the name of the baby, uh, if there are any siblings who want to be in the photo as well. Just some extra information. They signed that form, so that's great. Uh, also in the form, they will uh, tick boxes whether they do or don't give permission to me to share the photo. So I know beforehand what I can do. And it gives them security as well that they can decide what I do with the photos. Then I ask them to already transfer 30 euros for the cake and the rest they can pay on the day of the session. I send them a payment request on their phone. It's something that we do here and it works really well. So they already know what they have to pay beforehand, what they have to pay on the day of the session. So as clear, like the more clear that you are, the less maybe disappointments, miscommunications, um, yeah, just, things can occur which will give maybe the photo shoot a less pleasant experience. So be very clear. For example, and then the decor. I ask them to pick out something from my website that they really like. If they decide they want something different, I will ask them to send me an example photo from the internet of what they have in their mind. For example, I don't use helium balloons. Um, so if they want that in their session, they can bring it themselves. It's very clear manage expectations so they don't come in here disappointed because I don't have helium balloons. So for this session, the moms actually sent me a mood board. And this is the screenshot that they sent me. I don't know if you can really see, but this is what they sent me. So immediately I saw that in the mood board there is a gray background, helium balloons, um, a banner that, that I don't have, with like the fabric ribbons. So I responded, I like the idea of using black silver balloons, uh, the puffs, and um, 
yeah, the colors. But I actually use an off-white beige background because I think it really um, complements uh, the skin tones of the baby and it just makes the photos very soft and um, beautiful. So it's going to be an off-white like beige backdrop. I do have black banners and silver gray banners. I sent them a photo of what I've got. I also told them I have the fluffy balls and the paper decorations in blue. At this moment, I cannot find them in black or gray in the store where I usually get them. So I told them I have gray and black balloons. Um, do you like it like that as well? As far as the cake, a, do you want a drip cake with maybe a dark blue drip and then a gray fondant number one, black teepee tent, and then some like artificial leaves? I have been very clear in my communication. So they discussed it uh, among themselves. And they agreed that they really liked my proposal. So now they know what to expect when they come here. Always be very clear to your customers. The cake smell session I have later today, they want to have like a mustard yellow drip cake. Something different. It's not on my website yet because I haven't done it before. But it's okay because we communicate it by email. What they like, what I have. And then we create it together. Um, a concept that we both really like and can uh, provide so be very clear in your communication with your customers and there are always a few extra things that you can do to create the wow effect for your clients so one thing that i have is that i have this sign with the baby's name on it so here we have the changing table and we have the name of the baby and they usually love it they even take like photos of the baby with the sign here you see the decor uh, you can also see a real wood dark decor which looks really cool with the boys so if there's no sibling involved and we have a little bit of time left uh, after the portrait photos the baby's happy before we do the cake uh, i say oh we can also take a few photos with the dark wood it's really cool they love it um, and also sometimes uh, they don't really have outfits they're happy with so i have outfits as well that i can provide for the portrait photos uh, if they do bring a really cute outfit, I can say, oh, I might have a little hat to complement it. Um, just to, you know, make the experience a little bit more pleasant. And then another thing that I do to make the session go really smooth, I already have some baby wipes here right next to me. I have like cleaning wipes that I use to clean off the backdrop. I give the parents a plastic bag to put their dirty clothes. And I already have it ready right here at the scene. And then, of course, I got a plastic bag for all the dirty wipes. I do have extra spare uh, clean towels here. So if the parents forget to bring a towel, I have something here. Also, what I think that the parents really like is that they get a preview uh, either the next day, like after the session or the day after. So within two days after the session, they get a preview. Uh, sometimes I just say, you get a preview within two days. So they might think that I sent them one or two photos. What I do is I create a video, including eight photos with some music, the name of the baby. So they open it and they are usually really uh, amazed at the first photos because of the music and the transitions between the photos. Um, there's like movement, like it zooms in, zooms out. Um, some parents get emotional when they get the preview, especially with like newborn photo sessions because of the music and everything. So you want to create like a really cool experience. Also, it has my logo on it, my website. They can download it on their computer and share it with family and friends. They can even like upload it on Facebook or Instagram to share with people. And that's like um, marketing because people will see it and see my name. And might book a session with me as well. Then with the cake smash sessions, I make sure that I'm really fast um, sending them the link to the gallery. It's within a week after the session, sometimes even within three, four days after the session, because I know that most people are waiting for the photos to order their invitations for the birthday party. They might, might want to print a photo on like a poster canvas, canvas to uh, decorate their living room when they celebrate the first birthday party. So they want to use the photos for invitations, decorations for the first birthday. So the faster I deliver the photos, the happier they are. Um, and they'll share it, of course, with the people who come to celebrate the first birthday of the baby. So yeah, a day before the session, I sent them a reminder by email, once again, confirming the time, the address, uh, that they can park for free in front of the door. It's right next to a clothing boutique. 
Um, and then I send them my phone number as well. So if they run late, they can text me. Um, I think this really makes the clients happy. They know that I'm expecting them. And if they run a little bit late, they can inform me. So hopefully that takes away the stress. If they come here and the baby needs to, you know, get used to being here, uh, I can always offer them a drink like the parents. Uh, I can turn, put on some baby's music and just take it really slow because we have plenty of time. I always schedule an hour in between every session. So uh, we can take a, a few minutes extra for the baby to get, you know, accustomed to being here. I will play peekaboo with the baby when they get changed on the changing table. I can stand in the kitchen and I'll peek around the little wall. They love it. I haven't had a baby here yet who didn't like it. And then I come over and show them a balloon so they can already, so I can see if they are afraid of balloons or not. I can show them this little toy if they um, are still a bit afraid of me. So I will try to get them to like me uh, so we can take lovely photos. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. I'm just going to wait for the clients to come here. I forgot my tripod today, so I'll try to film a little bit during the cake smith session, but um, the angle might not be too great, but we'll see. This is good now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Yeah, you can see me in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.